If you're a military retiree within the three-year timeline of your military retirement decision, either before, during, or after that decision, you've definitely come across the biggest financial decision you will have ever had to make, the survivor benefit plan. And unfortunately, the way it's typically presented to you, you don't have a whole lot of time to know that you're making the most competent and confident decision in your favor. Because you've got a checklist of things to go through in military retirement and the survivor benefit plan decision is just one of those. And while it makes sense on paper, something brought you to this video because it might not feel right for you or your spouse. Either way, you need to sit down at home and find a way to look at those calculations, figure out what exactly do you need to be cautious about and how do you know if you're making the right decision? So in this video, what I want to show you quickly is how to address that decision so that you know what your options actually are and how you can address it and figure out where on the priority list of everything around your military retirement, whether it's the VA or looking for a new job, figuring out where you want to live, where does this lifetime or long-term decision stand on that list. And what I'm going to point out in this video is that it might be higher on that list than you might realize, because this is the only one that has a definitive timeline. What are your options to get there? How do we look at it? Well, what you've typically probably thought about, which makes a whole lot of sense, is looking at the cost benefit analysis. And what determines the cost and the benefit is the only known thing that we definitely know. We know what the cost and benefit of the survivor benefit plan is, it's the exact same thing for everyone. And what determines any other options is your medical situation. Another thing that we pretty much know, it's easy to get a, an evaluation and you're going through that with the VA right now. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a mistake or sometimes it can backfire when we approach this decision with this methodology, especially if we're talking about senior career officers and NCOs who are serving really in the 20 plus and up to 30 year range, because let's face it, you're not in the same boat as the vast majority of the people that you're sitting through in these retirement and transition briefings. And you know that, and you've had to go out and find other alternative solutions for various aspects of your retirement, beyond just talking to your buddies who retired a couple of years before you. Uh, you found us because we are definitely one of those resources. I've been talking to military retirees for 15 years, helping them through this solution. And really, that's the reason we created U.S. Vet Wealth. My name is Scott Tucker. I'm the founder of U.S. Vet Wealth and creator of the private pension method, the only alternative solution that creates an offensive, defensive, and contingency option to the survivor benefit plan. If that sounds like something you'd like to look into to see if it might be a better fit for your family, then the first thing we need to do is figure out how do we make this, this decision. So what I've done is created a series of short videos inside our members area below to look more into that and show you plenty of examples for a lot of other retirees who have gone before you. Thanks for watching this video about helping senior officers and their families make the most informed decision to confidently and competently know that uh, you're making the right choice about the survivor benefit plan for your family and what the other alternatives are. Thanks again for watching this video. If you'd like to see more lessons such as this and a number of articles on topics around survivor benefit plan, thrift savings plan. I'd like to invite you to our new military retirement blueprint. You can get access in the link below and we'll see you inside the new portal.